sometimes doing your beautiful window displays. It's good dog, Max. It? How are you, Wally? Good dog. Good dog. Now we have um, we have just only launched this new kind of uh, idea between the Great Stones Film Club and the wonderful Forefront yeah. Games. Before we get on to that, we should just let people know a little bit more about Forefront Games. You're the only escape rooms in Wicklow. Yep. I know you've got two wonderful games. One of them, The Hillside Haunting, is based on an old idea of a haunting up here. The other one's based on a, an afternoon in the Greystones Post Office, isn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> how do you get out of here within the hour? <laughs> the other one is The Case of Jack, though. It is indeed, yeah. It's more of a detective one, whereas The Hillside Haunting is more of, you're an investigator. Right. And you have to see why, why Brona's ghost still lives in The Hillside Haunting. Ba boom Now, you have um, done incredibly well so far, and we should be noted that you guys built these things from scratch. I mean, from they, scratch, everything. Designed right. and built all by us, yeah. Wow. And the stories and everything and all the puzzles, everything is ours, yeah. Brilliant. And, and your background in the in the wonderful world of, of uh, window displays and, and, and I guess, I mean, that kind set designs. In, it? Yeah. <laughs> so it lends itself to, to the idea. We have spoken before and we'll link back to that, just the origins of it for the four of you, got, kind of getting a thrill when you're on holidays mm -hmm. and realising... Is it something that you you have sort of, I don't know, uh, you know, does it? Pl I would imagine something like this plays with your dreams almost. Like just when oh, it comes yeah. to puzzles and the yeah. idea that there's layer upon layer, I'm, I'm sure it affects like probably your every day. You have those moments <laughs> where you're in between awake and asleep, and you have the most amazing ideas. No, it probably right. doesn't come true when you're awake. But like, yeah, you do. You have absolute epiphanies. Like, right. it does keep you awake at night. Like, your dreams get very adventurous. Nice. Now, we should say we will have, again, um, more detail in the text above just about, I know it's 20 euro per person for the group of four. And um, you know, just let people know what the games are. We can link to the, the Forefront uh, Games website. But now that the films, we've kind of used the uh, title Great Escape because obviously with the escape rooms mm -hmm. is one link. But there are many movies that feature different kinds of escapes yep. and, and you're you're particularly enamoured by psychological thrillers which Love them. I guess is always the way with any kind of escape it really is a mental game yeah, as opposed really to physical Yeah, it in I suppose actually to what we do because yeah. there's always kind of a puzzle or a twist at the end or something that's really kind of hooks you which is kind of <laughs> similar to this Now we should of course say to people it is part of the Greystone Film Club secret cinema so they just have to join the the film club to get tickets but it should be pretty kind of easy and cool for most people to guess what our very first film is. And I think we will we will give them a treat by saying the fact that it's going to be the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. I think we can sort of reveal that. This will be on, on Monday the 18th. It's going to be at a... a One of the greatest movies of all time. Fantastic movie. And I know it's um, Morgan Freeman's personal favourite of his own movies, understandably. Even though he's called Red, he's supposed to be Irish, and that was the original book, was an oh, Irish guy with red that? hair. Yeah, an Irish guy with red hair was in the book. And they oh, just he thought, it in the film, sure. Yeah, and Morgan just was too good a fit for that yeah. kind of deep uh, ph philosopher. But we should, um, we don't want to give any too much away because there will be more movies and we don't want to sort of reveal what they are. But there are many movies in this kind of psychological thriller mold that, that, that kind of do, you know, Memento would be a great one. And that there's, uh, there's so many films that mm -hmm. sort of mess with how, you, how the hell do I get out of this place? Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing now for, for you guys, the idea that you have, I, I don't know, like you have two rooms, do you sort of feel that there's there's a, a inevitability you're going to sort of evolve the rooms? Do you yeah. sort of feel connected to them too emotionally? Or I really love the hillside haunting only because we've had it for so long. But I do right. think eventually it will. We will change up the puzzles. Um, maybe change the theme. Um, depends on how like how long we decide to keep it this way because it takes so long to build. Right. But we'll keep them this way for a while and yes. we do plan on eventually changing the theme and things like that. Now we should say that also we'll link to this. You, you're, you guys, the four of you are putting up your own kind of little puzzles and challenges that you yes. attempt. Just to prove that you're not hugely super smart not all, every we're, single no, <laughs> And the videos will prove it. Yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're doing a little video series on YouTube just of us playing games and doing challenges because we're all about fun and like yeah. we get together every Saturday and we make a little video and it's such a good crack and this is what we're all about. Like, and I've been amazed by quite a lot of people have hit that um, met that challenge. You know, you've you've shared you know people who've done you know the various different escapes in their yeah. in their a lot of time, and they've so that's, that's fantastic. There is oh, a yeah. there is a real appetite for people just to pull together, work out clues, mm -hmm. and find that it's way. It's great because people come in, they've no idea what to expect, and you give them the general idea, and when they come out, they're like, "It was not what I expected. It was so much fun," and that's exactly the, the the reaction you want. Cool, buddy. So now I'm guessing for us to escape, mainly involves a hammer of some sort, right? <laughs> yeah. I would think. We'll just, yeah, I think we'll work with this one. Young Max. Oh. Oi. Hello, Max. Oi, Wally. Look at him. He's such a great attention. <laughs> oh, <we'll see. laughs>